Hey, this is Terratoots with a quick introduction to shading a mountain in Terragen 4. This video picks up from the previous tutorial where we built and eroded the underlying terrain for our mountain. In this video, we'll cover adding shaders and populations to create this mountain scene. The first thing we're going to do is allow the preview to finish rendering and then turn on the ray traced preview. This will allow us to quickly preview the effects of our shaders. Next, let's take a look at our base color shader. We're going to come to the color tab and darken this quite a bit to give our mountain a deep base color. Next, we're going to add two more gray layers to give our stone a little more variety. Let's call this first one dark gray and bring the color down to 0.05. We'll also drop the coverage to 0.3 so that our base colors will show through and set the fractal breakup to 0.28. I'm going to add an altitude constraint so that the color only appears on the mountain with a fuzzy zone to fade it in. Let's also add a slope constraint so that this gray only appears on steeper slopes. Our next gray layer is going to be similar to the first, but lighter. We'll again adjust the coverage down, this time to 0.26, and the fractal breakup to 0.975. I want this color to appear on some of the shallower slopes, so we'll add a maximum slope constraint of 40 degrees with a 20 degree fuzzy zone. Next, we'll add a brown dirt layer. To give some more variety to this color layer, let's create a new power fractal as a color function. We'll set the feature scale to 1000 and the color to 1, 0.23. Back on the dirt layer, we'll bring fractal breakup up to 0.75. I only want the dirt to reach part way up the base of the mountain, so we'll add a maximum altitude constraint of 1000 with a 500 meter fuzzy zone. We'll also add a maximum slope constraint of 40 degrees with a 10 degree fuzzy zone. Next, we'll add a frost layer. This will go underneath our main snow layer and give the appearance that the top of the mountain has recently received a light frost. I'm going to directly add a power fractal shader here. Set the feature scale to 1 and the noise stretch to 5 in the vertical direction. In the color tab, we'll check apply high color and set that to 0.68. I'll apply displacement and set the noise flavor to Perlin ridges. We only want this to cover the top part of the mountain, so I'm going to mask it by a new distribution shader. Change the coverage to 0.8. and limit the minimum altitude to 2000 with a 200 meter fuzzy zone. I'll also limit the minimum slope to 30 degrees with a 10 degree fuzzy zone. So this primarily shows up on the ridges. Next, we're going to add our main snow layer. Add a new surface layer and lighten the color to 0.85. We're going to limit the minimum and maximum altitude of this layer to 3000 with a 500 meter fuzzy zone and 50 with a 500 meter fuzzy zone. We don't want snow on the steep cliffs, so we'll limit the maximum slope to 60 degrees with a 10 degree fuzzy zone. Finally, go to the effects tab and check intersect underline and change it to favor depressions. This will make it look more like the snow is filling in the cracks in the terrain underneath. Next, we'll add a couple of grass shaders to the base of the mountain. This first one will be a darker green. We'll bring the coverage down to 0.75 and the breakup down to 
will constrain altitude, the maximum altitude of 500 meters with a 200 meter fuzzy zone, and this maximum slope to 40 degrees with a 20 degree fuzzy zone. The next grass layer will be more yellow. We'll bring the coverage down to 0.21 and then break up all the way up to 1.125. This one will have an altitude limit, 500 meters with a 200 meter fuzzy zone and a slope constraint of 30 degrees with a 20 degree fuzzy zone. The final thing we're going to do is add a population of pine trees around the base of the mountain. First, go into object, add population, and bring in a population of medium pine trees. Let's zoom the camera out to get a better view. And move the population center to the base of the mountain. We'll also rotate and scale it to align with the area we want it to cover. I'll set the object spacing to 6 and the variation to 2. Now, one of the most important things we're going to do is to mask the population by a new distribution shader. We'll use the distribution shader to limit the tree's altitude to between 800 meters with a 200 meter fuzzy zone and 25 meters with a 100 meter fuzzy zone. as well as limit the slope to 30 degrees with a 10 degree fuzzy zone. I'm also going to check the smoother fuzzy zones box. Head back to the population and make sure to clip to camera so we don't generate unneeded instances. Finally, let's play with the scale a bit. This mountain is actually gigantic, but I want to be able to see individual trees. So let's bring the minimum scale to 2.5 and the maximum to 3. Now we can populate. At this point, the mountain itself is coming along pretty well, as you can see from a test render. A little more work on the foreground, sky, and lighting, and you'll be well on the way to a basic but pretty decent mountain scene.